Problem 6.4-2. Determine the minimum shear capacity of the fasteners if an internal vertical shear force of 1 kN is applied. Here we have a built-up member with dimensions given. And there are fasteners connecting this top plate to the two vertical members. And we are asked to find the capacity, the minimum capacity, of the fasteners. I'm going to be using the shear flow formula and the fastener spacing formula to solve this problem. To get values for Q and moment of inertia, I need to know where the neutral axis is on this cross section. So I'm going to find that first. Okay, I use this formula here to find the uh, vertical distance to the centroid. I've chosen for my datum the top of the member. So we'll, we will calculate this y bar as the distance from the top down to the centroid of the cross section and the neutral axis is a horizontal line that passes through it. So I've divided this uh, member up into essentially three parts. Uh, there's the top piece, I'll call that plate, I'll call piece one, and the legs I'll just call piece two. Since they're symmetrical, I'll just uh, need to deal with one of them and multiply the values by two. So uh, the first term here in this equation is the area of piece one, which is 140 millimeters times 10 millimeters and the y tilde is the distance from its centroid of piece one up to the datum line which is the top of the member and that's five millimeters. The second term here is that's, uh, that's for piece two and there's two legs and the area is ten wide by seventy tall and the y tilde is the distance from its centroid up to the top of the member. It's thirty-five up to the bottom of piece one and an additional ten, forty-five. And on the bottom is the total area and that equals twenty-five millimeters so y bar is 25 millimeters. Next thing I'm going to do is find the moment of inertia of the cross section and I'm going to use the parallel axis theorem. I'm going to use the same three parts that I used, uh, that I divided the member up to find the centroid. Okay, I've used the parallel axis theorem to calculate the moment of inertia about the z-axis and this first, these first two terms are for the top plate, piece one, got its moment of inertia, base times uh, height cubed divided by 12, plus it's AD squared. And uh, the next two terms here are for the leg pieces, piece 2, and I've doubled that because there are two legs, and I get this value for my moment of inertia. The next step is to find Q. Now Q is equal to A prime times Y bar prime, and uh, what we're interested in is the capacity of these fasteners. So we're interested in finding what the shear flow is right at these joints where the fasteners pass through uh, between the two members because that's where the shear on the fastener will be occurring is right on those joints. So our A prime will uh, will be drawn uh, so that the boundary of A prime will cross those two joints. So this shaded area is the area uh, that we'll be using for A prime. And Y bar prime will be the distance from the centroid of that shaded area to the neutral axis. And we get for our value for Q, 2.8 times 10 to the negative fifth meters cubed. Now I will solve for shear flow in the member. And that is equal to V, the internal resultant shear force, which was given, and is one kilonewton. Q, which we calculated, divided by moment of inertia, which we have calculated above. And I get a value for shear flow of 16.44 kilonewtons per meter. The last step is to use the fastener spacing equation. And I've rewritten it to solve for the capacity of a single fastener, which is what we've asked to find. And I can plug in for the value of S. The spacing on the fastener is 0 0.12 meters. We can see that here in the uh, in the, it was given in the, uh, in the diagram. That's the longitudinal spacing along the length of the beam, 120 millimeters. And shear flow we found above was 16.44 kilonewtons per meter. N is the number of fasteners in the cross section. We see that there will be two. And solving for the fastener capacity, we get a value of 0 0.98 kilonewtons. And we're done.